Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So back at the beginning of May this year, I let you know about a new feature that Microsoft had introduced in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, which back then was Edge version 125, where in the stable version, Microsoft had rolled out the new resource controls feature that lets you control how much RAM Edge can use. So basically, um, Edge had received a built-in RAM limiter. And here's just a screenshot I took from that video. And here we can see that we've got the resource controls. You can toggle it on. It was off by default. You had the ability to turn it on. And then you had control when choose when to control resources, when you're PC gaming always. And then yeah, you could control how much RAM Edge can use. And then you had this slider, which um, you could slide up and down to your own personal choice and preference, allocating how much uh, RAM the browser can actually use. Now, just to let you know that it seems now that in the current stable version of Microsoft Edge, which is sitting on version 130, that Microsoft has made a couple of changes to the so-called resource controls. So if we head over to our settings in the current stable version of Microsoft Edge, I have noticed um, if we head to our system and performance page and we scroll down, yeah, we can see that it's no longer resource controls. It's now manage edges RAM usage. And it says select a RAM usage level. Selecting a low aggressive limit may impact browser speed. So instead of having the slider here, as in this case, we've now got these uh, predetermined amounts and limits. So if we, which um, if you click on is in a drop down menu format. So you've got no limit, which obviously can use the full capacity of your devices RAM. In my case, minimal would be six gigabytes, moderate would be four, aggressive, which I've got it set to would be three, and then most aggressive two. So instead of having that slider, they've just given you these predetermined kind of settings. And I actually think this is a better um, setup, to be honest with you. And then everything else here stays exactly the same as it was previously. Now, something just to take note of regarding this feature. It seems to be on a server side controlled update rollout and is not kind of um, linked to any update that we have received recently. And I have noticed that this feature is only on my Windows 11 device and not in Edge on my Windows 10 device, which indicates it's on a controlled rollout. And this feature disappeared from the stable version of Edge and now suddenly in my region today is back in Edge on my Windows 11 device. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up. You may see this, you may not. Let me know if you actually are seeing this in the stable version of Edge. I'd like to know if the rollout is a lot wider or you know if, if it's rolling out to more regions. But nonetheless, there we go. Um, the feature has received a couple of changes, which is basically, it's useful for gaming as well, as I've mentioned previously, and that's the built-in RAM limiter, which has received a couple of changes. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.